Hello Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. We are going to get into another reading to see what the messages are for you guys. I hope that you're all doing well. I am sending love and positive energy towards you. And we're going to see what this reading is getting into. Anything that you guys need to know is below in the description box. Check it out, okay? Let's go ahead and see for Pisces, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Father, Mother, God for Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces at this time? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have toil and labor, and then we have journey. Can I get one more card for Pisces, Spirit, please? Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, mother, God, for Pisces, pathway. Then we have house at the bottom and high honor. Interesting, Pisces. So, okay. There's something that I feel like you guys are working on right now. This could be your job. Some of you could feel like you're at a dead-end job. Some of you could feel like you're not moving forward with whatever it is that you do for your career. Mm. There's something about you being in alignment. You could be feeling like you're not in alignment. You could be feeling a little bit off. Um, for some of you guys, but whatever you're working towards, whatever you're doing to, um, let me, okay, get it together. Whatever you are working on is because you're working towards something. It's like you want stability. You want security with this house card. You really want to be stable. You want to make sure that you have a roof over your head, clothes on your back and food in your stomach. And I do feel that you are very grateful. You are very appreciative of what you have. But some of you guys have been going through a really tough time right now on your journey. There's a lot of growth. And with this number 10 card, it's like you guys are completing certain cycles that you've been dealing with for a really long time. It's just trying to find a way out of the darkness with this pathway card. I feel like you guys are on a path that has included a lot of growth, okay? A lot of transformation. You guys are changing right now when it comes to, I mean, we're always changing, so that's never going to stop. But I feel like you guys are definitely evolving and changing into a newer version of yourself. Because you see the importance of what it is that you're doing. But it feels like a grind right now. I feel like you guys really are in a grind right now. Possibly to make money. Possibly to be stable. But there's some type of appreciation that's about to come in for you. For all of the work that you've been putting in. I feel like spirit is about to move in your life. Okay? If you know, you know. Spirit is about to move in you guys' life. It's something that I feel you may not be prepared for. There's light at the end of the tunnel. But this journey has definitely not been an easy journey. It feels like you're not making any progress. And some of you are really frustrated because it feels like you're not making any progress. But there's about to be light. You're about to see the path that you've been on kind of clear. Stay encouraged, Pisces. That's what I feel like I have to say. Your journey has not been easy at all. Like, I can feel the stress. I can feel the pain that you guys have been going through. But they're basically telling you not to give up because this is all a part of your experience and what you're supposed to learn it may not be what you want to hear but it's what you need to hear okay things are about to open up so can you tell me what's coming towards pisces at this time 
guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God for Pisces. What is coming towards Pisces at this time? Queen of Pentacles, okay? So there's definitely stability coming towards you. Based on something that I feel like you created, Queen of Pentacles, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Wow. And then we have a Queen of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So you're going from the Six to the Ten. There's something that has to end, though, and it may be very uncomfortable for you. I don't know what this is, but it could be very uncomfortable for you. You could be around a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be around a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign. <sighs> but I feel like this could be you definitely coming into your own, coming into your confidence. I feel like you guys are, are focusing really closely, pensively on onto what it is that you want to accomplish. Mm. Even though things are bad, though, this is the everything is fine card. There's something about your work and the Empress card. Yeah. There's something about your work. It's like you've been focusing a lot on creating the masterpiece that you see for your life. You've been focusing a lot on growing. You, It's like you, you have to realize that you have everything you need inside of yourself, Pisces. And I think that you could have recently or in the present moment been having a hard time believing in yourself, being confident in yourself seeing the future that you want and like manifesting it because I feel like you've been working a lot and you've been doing a lot to manifest your future but I feel like you've not been seeing the results that you've wanted in a situation yeah but it's like there's a change that's coming the death card five of swords I definitely feel like you guys may have bitten off more than you can chew i don't know in what in what tense or terms that is for you specifically but you may have bitten off more than you can chew and involved yourself in maybe more situations than you can handle because you were trying to be stable and you were trying to grow you possibly were trying to make a better life for yourself and you invested in a lot possibly before you were ready, but you're not the type of person to give up. You're not the type of person to give up. You could have earth and fire in your chart, air, water. You could have all of the elements in your chart. Okay. What's this queen of pentacles? Because there's a lot like, yeah, you're realizing. What else is the queen of pentacles? You're having to sit back and actually like realize that you have the capability to do whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah, believing in yourself. I feel like whatever fear or hesitation that you may have had towards accomplishing a goal, there's there's a solid goal here that you're focusing on with this Queen of Pentacles. You have an opportunity and you took an opportunity into your hands. And you don't want to let it go because you believe in yourself and you know that you can do it. But I feel like there's like a wavering of belief that you could have experienced recently because things have just been looking really bleak. Right. But with the hangman and the two of wands, it's like. You're standing on your decisions with the seven of wands, two of wands, hangman, it's like you're standing on your decisions. You're standing by whatever you've chosen for yourself. You're not giving up on yourself. It's not easy, though. You've been feeling really attacked lately. You've been feeling... And, I, you know, it it's kind of feels like spiritual attacks. But it's coming... Like, the effects of the spiritual attacks could be coming out on, like, your body and your energy levels. I'm not a doctor, lawyer, or psychologist, but I just feel like you could have possibly been feeling really drained lately, really tired. It's like you're tired of fighting. You're tired of having to fight. But it's 
is something that you can't stop doing. It's like, I can't give up. I just can't give up now. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy, but I know. Mm. Y'all finished it. <laughs> I've come too far for you to leave me. Nobody told me the road would be easy, but I know. Mm. I feel like you expected to go at it alone, Pisces. I feel like you knew you were going to have to basically be your own cheerleader. You look good while you're doing it. You really do. You look good while you're doing it. Like people would not be able to know that you were going through whatever you're going through right now. They would not be able to know. But you are realizing that you are the key to unlocking whatever type of stability or lifestyle that you want. You're not. See, that's the thing. That's why I feel like there's about to be a change and a breakthrough for you. This could be a personal breakthrough because not all of the breakthroughs or, um, you know, will of fortune moments and, you know, death card. Mo not all of the transitions are easy, but they teach us about ourselves. And because we're not in a time where we can get on boats and go to different lands or um, because we're not in times where we can traverse across, you know, the continent. It's like those lessons show up in different ways. It's like metaphorically, that's what you're doing. And I feel like a lot of you guys are tired of being the same way. You're tired of doing the same old thing. It's like you've accomplished a lot in one place and you're ready to move forward. But this is like a positive realization. What's the Knight of Cups? Oh, shoot. It's the Nine of Wands and it's reversed. There are nine wands right there too. What else is the Knight of Cups? You're starting to be less afraid. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. You're starting to be less afraid. You're starting to basically believe in yourself more and not hold back as much as you have before. It's like you're holding on to this dream. High Priestess in the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been working on something pretty private. Or secretly. What else is the Knight of Cups? Yeah, Justice. See, you know that you are going to be vindicated for whatever work that you've put in. You know that the work that you put in, that you feel like you may not have been properly compensated for or rewarded for or recognized for you know that that work is going to be recognized. You know that you're, you're going to be vindicated for that because justice is like the reason why you're holding on to something and you're not giving up when it comes to your work. This is your career. This is your business. This is your dream. This is your job. This is, this is something that you've put a lot of effort into. And I know that it has not been easy for you. It's been very difficult. But it's like with the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, it's like you get the job done every single time. You're not a slacker. You go above and beyond. You always invest a lot of your heart and soul, blood, sweat, and tears into what it is that you're doing. Like literally you built something. And I feel like with this high honor card, you, you're about to be honored for that because of how much you've invested. What's the queen of wands? Because of the way that you've invested your energy, you haven't been lazy about it. You haven't been like, um, you know, you, you haven't been a freeloader. You have not been someone who depends on other people to get by. The Nine of Pentacles showed me that you are very much so independent. And whatever hard things that you're going through right now, you're being guided through it. Like you're literally being guided through it and shown the way. So right now is a really like important time for you to listen to your intuition. 
when it comes to what you're working on, when it comes to what you're doing, whatever your spirit guides are telling you, whatever you feel like your ancestors are telling you, God, source, whoever you believe in, it's really important for you to listen to this guidance because I feel like there is a light that's inside of you that you're finally having the confidence to allow to show. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, yeah. Be confident in the things that you say. Be confident in the things that you do. And you're not being delusional about it because it, you're just not. What's the Queen of Wands? It's like you know what you have to do. You know what's in front of you. But see, look, at that's what I'm saying. The Death card, the Hermit. You're being taught a lesson in believing in yourself, okay? That's what this is about because you're transforming into this Queen of Wands energy or you are harnessed. It's not like you're transforming into this. It was always inside of you um, with the Hermit card, but it's, it's like you are harnessing that particular, like we saw the Queen of Swords just now. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands. We saw the Empress. You are the Empress, Emperor type of energy whether you're male or female, masculine or feminine, however you identify, but you have all of these attributes of these kings and queens. You have all of the attributes of these strong, intelligent, wise individuals inside of you. And it's just about what you decide to show at any given moment. And I feel like you're showing a lot of stability. You're showing a lot of growth. You're showing a lot of awareness for who it is that you are. And I feel like despite the fact that things may not have worked out in the past, despite the fact that you may have been disappointed by a lot of situations that you've experienced recently, you are not giving up because it's like, you know, that you've been guided. It's, it's like you, you may, you may even be scared out of your mind, but you're not going to give up. That's one thing about you. You're not, you refuse. What else is the queen of wands? The page of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like you notice your confidence changing. You notice the way that you have evolved in a positive way. I really just feel like this reading is like encouragement for you. The Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Devil. It's like you know a lot of the toxic situations that you've been in, a lot of the things that have been attached to you or tried to attach themselves to you in the past have taught you a lot about yourself. So I, I kind of feel like, you know, it's demon time. Like that's what came to my mind. I don't know who said that, but I've heard some, I heard that before It's demon time. Like it's time to go. Like it's, it's, it, it's like you cutting, you cutting through the bull right now. You're cutting through it. Cause I gotta be PG, but it kind of feels like you're harnessing all of the energy of the toxicity that you've experienced in your life and you're using it to your favor. Queen of Swords again, Page of Swords. It's like you're you're you coming you're coming off as this Queen of Swords, but really you're this Page of Swords trying to figure it out. But the fact that you can portray yourself as the Queen of Swords, Empress, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. It's like, even if you don't know, you do know because you have a lot of spiritual support. You have a lot of people backing you in the spiritual realm. Okay, what's the Six of Swords? King of Wands. What else is the Six of Swords? There could be a fire sign coming towards you. The devil wanted to be in the reverse, but it is upright, okay? What else is the six of swords? Oh my God, the 10 of swords twice, Jesus. Just be mindful of the people who come around you, their energy, Pisces. There definitely could have been something that you found out, some type of information that you received. 
about a change that has been made. Yeah, four of swords, five of cups. I feel like there's something going on here with some type of change that's been made recently. There could have been a policy change at your job. There could have been some type of change in a relationship that you had with a person. I feel like you're being guided away from people who want to sabotage you. It's like you no longer have a desire to converse with or cohabitate or co-mingle, like work together with people who have a strong desire to sabotage you. And even though you're being sabotaged, like current, like somebody's intentions, somebody who looks like you or acts like you, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, somebody who would be considered a pair to you. It's like you don't you don't care for them anymore or you don't care for the type of situations that you were being put in because of those types of people. I also, yeah, oh wow, the Ace of Swords. I also feel like there's someone here Mm. I feel like there's someone here who got a taste of their own medicine because it's like, I don't know. It kind of feels like somebody brought you to a place where you were mentally unstable or they tried to break you down emotionally, manipulated you. That kind of came out in one of the last readings where it's like somebody was trying to to like emotionally manipulate you but i feel with this king of wands ten of swords this devil card and them having the ten it's like you are in the ten of swords or going through the ten of swords or trying to transition out of the ten of swords energy trying to move on from it but this person is going through it because you are away from them or because you've been guided away it's like Whoever this King of Wands is, is not dealing with whatever this Ten of Swords is as well as you're dealing with it. And they're the ones who tried to put it onto you. Somebody was really attached to trying to like sabotage you. But see, look at this. High Priestess in the Star card. It's like the light that you hold within yourself, Pisces, is so strong that nobody could yeah six of wands you're gonna be successful no matter what the light that you hold within you is so strong that nobody can dim it like no one can dim this light that you have inside of you but it's like the darkness that they had inside of them consumed them what's everything is fine for pisces the knight of swords what else is everything is fine the magician what else is everything is fine for Pisces? The Ace of Cups. So it's like there was somebody who was trying to manipulate a situation or force a situation. And I feel like the time has whatever the time the time has come to an end for whatever this is. Pisces, just go with the flow. Do what you can. Don't push yourself. Don't force yourself. I mean, do the work that you feel like you need to do. With this Ace of Cups, for me, it's like... There's a lot of energy within you and it's overflowing. But at the same time, you can't make something happen that's not meant to happen. There's a cycle that has to be over with here for whatever reason. I don't know what this means. It's like you really, I, I really feel like you don't want to give up on something, but you're realizing how things need to change based on what you've experienced. You're realizing how you may have to implement change in your life.
I feel like whatever you've been waiting on, the cycle of you having to wait is coming to an end. Okay. There's some type of cycle where you've been stagnant. Or you've had like financial struggles. Your money has been really slow to come in. I feel like that cycle is over with for you. That's what the high honor is. I feel like you're finally being appreciated for all this work that you've been putting in. That you feel like you have not received the proper compensation for. And I also feel like even though things are difficult, there's some type of clarity that you have. There's there's this there's this this ethereal like angelic clarity that I feel because the darkness never consumed you. Like you were living in the darkness, but like with this hermit with the star around her neck, it's like you lit your own way through the darkness while somebody else put you in the darkness, but at but they didn't understand. It's like they were trying to lead you into darkness in, in a spiritually metaphorical way with their actions, trying to make you like basically break down or have an emotional breakdown or something like that. C steady, like luring you into the darkness, not knowing that you had this light around your neck. And you could basically see through all of that to get to this light at the end of the tunnel. Meanwhile, they left you in the darkness and now they lost. You know what I'm saying? I just saw employment change. So it's like there's a person here who basically lost themselves trying to get you lost. Wow. Interesting. What is the advice for Pisces? Take a divinely guided chance. Exactly. It's like you're being led. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you are ready to follow your you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. And then you have bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. Okay, Pisces. So, I mean, I feel like basically the waiting is oh, like the wait is over. The wait is over. And I feel like you're about to receive some type of promotion, raise, bonus, um, appreciation, recognition for all the work that you've been putting in, which is opening up a light at the end of the tunnel that you have literally been leading yourself through off the pure strength of who you are. While someone else is being consumed in the darkness of what they tried to create for you. And it's not like you're basking in it, but that's just the, that's just what karma is. That's just life. If you put that energy out, that's the energy you're going to receive back, whether it's immediate, whether it takes years or whether it takes lifetimes, that's the energy that you're going to receive back. And what I really feel is that a lot of y'all had lifetimes where this person was doing this to you and their spirit thought it would never catch up to them, but this is the lifetime where it caught up to them. So Okay, Pisces, thank y'all so much for being here. Anything you need to know is below. And remember, this is our circle booze. Get in them comments. Bye.